Hey everyone, this is Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. As you may notice, we are back in Tamarindo, Costa Rica from Colorado. A great sequence of events got us here for a couple of months and so we're going to be doing a lot of um, filming back out by the pool, outdoors. It is um, hot and you may notice very windy right now. Um, but but beautiful, beautiful blue skies and happy to be back. Um, as many of you may know, we are being sponsored by the company Built and they've been sending me these amazing Built bars, which I've been enjoying daily. They've got a ton of flavors and I just recently discovered that this one specifically is German chocolate cake. But the other night I put one of the caramel chocolate brownie flavors in the microwave for about 10 seconds and it was like eating the most decadent, delicious dessert and it only has four grams of sugar. So um, it was great when we were traveling from Denver back to Costa Rica and I just stuck one of these in my backpack and I knew I was getting a ton of protein all day and um, something healthy in my body with lots of vitamins and all that good stuff. So thank you to Built. I just want to give a special shout out and a thank you to all of my Patreon supporters, my members, my subscribers. Thank you to you. We um, continue to add better sound equipment, cameras, and now we are shooting with three different camera angles, um, which is exciting and I hope that you get the benefits out of a good quality production. So. Thanks to all of you, and if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. You can just hit the little bell notification icon for um, notifications of classes that are going to be coming to you frequently while we are here in Costa Rica. So today's class is going to be focused on the transition from winter into spring, since it's about that time. Um, and in the spirit of just opening and awakening to the spring as the plants are doing and um, as we hopefully get to get out and about <laughs> a little bit more in the coming months and towards the summer, um, we're going to focus on a lot of heart opening sequences. So we're going to do a little bit with a heart um, hand mudras, breathing, and then obviously posture so a lot of familiar postures but really focused on opening the chest opening the lungs lifting the chin and looking up toward the sun so i am still kind of nursing a little bit of an, a knee issue here so um might be giving you some or i might be myself doing some modifications but i'll talk you through the postures and I hope that's just a reminder to you to always modify for whatever your body is going through. This could be your first yoga class or you could be doing yoga every single day. So we're all at different places. Take care of your body and make adjustments as needed. And I will try and give you options. So to start off with, we're going to um, come into a seated position that works for you. So whatever works for you, where you can keep your spine nice and long, your, the crown of your head reaching up toward the ceiling or the sky. You can be cross-legged or on your shins or on, sitting on a block, whatever works for you. We're going to do a um, breathing sequence with hand mudras. So if you want to, before you close your eyes and kind of settle in, I'm going to show you what we're going to do and then I'll talk you through it and we'll do it together. But the first hand position that we're going to do is we're going to be touching all 10 fingers and your, so, and including your thumb, <laughs> so all 10 of them, bringing them together so that you, it looks like this, you have a, like a little circle here. So this is the position of your hands and it will be at your heart. We'll be coming into a prayer position back into this same position with all 10 fingers touching. And then we'll come and we're gonna cross to the backs of our hands. Okay, so prayer, hands, palms together, and then backs of hands together. And then when we come back from this position, we're gonna bring our hands with 
our um, palms clenched, fists clenched, and then we're gonna switch from side to side, and then we'll do a breathing exercise here. So we're going to start with our hands resting on our knees, and then I'm gonna guide you through this. So close your eyes, and let's start with some grounding, deep breathing. Make sure that your sitting bones are comfortably rested on the floor if you're sitting in a cross-legged position and that your spine is upright and your shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears. So take a deep breath in through your nose, cleansing breath here. Out through your mouth. And then three breaths in and out through your nose. Invite your ujjayi breathing so that your breath is audible. Gently constricting the back of your throat. Inhale through your nose. Listen to the sound of your breath as it comes out through your nose. Hmm, that was something that just fell on my roof. And again. Okay, continue with your deep ujjayi breathing. Bring your hands into that position that I showed you. So all 10 fingers touching, bring them to your chest at heart center. As you breathe in, bring your hands forward and let the palms of your hands connect. And as you breathe out, return to that position. All 10 fingers coming back towards your heart. Breathe in, extend your arms, and let the backs of your hands touch this time. And as you breathe out, you're gonna just clasp your palms, right or left thumb on top, it doesn't matter, and hold here. So we're, we'll switch sides on the other side. So breathe in and clench your fists and pull your elbows apart, open your chest. And as you breathe out, just relax the grip on your hands and your arms. We're gonna do this four more times, so five all together. So breathe in, pull your elbows apart, tension in your arms, and breathe out and relax. This is three, four, Last time. Okay, so bring your hands back to that original position and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So breathe in, extend your hands forward, palms connect. Breathe out, return your all 10 fingers connected to heart center. Breathe in and touch the backs of your hands, extend it out in front of you, and breathe out. Clasp your hands, other thumb on top. So if it was right the first time, left this time. So hold your hands at heart center and five breaths. As you breathe in, pull your elbows apart, open your chest, tense your arms, clasp your hands, and as you breathe out, relax everything. That's one. two, two more. Last one. Great job. Now, take your hands back to your knees and let's do some neck rolls. So bring your right ear to your right shoulder, chin, chin to your chest. You can do half or full neck rolls. I'm gonna do five in each direction.
next time your chin comes to your chest, just pause and reverse directions. And of course, if you're doing half neck rolls, just keep going kind of back and forth. I'm counting at about five of my neck rolls. So you should be even on both sides. Okay, for full neck rolls, this is the last one in this direction. And then just come back to a neutral position. And on your next breath in, bring your arms up overhead and let's take a side bend off to the left so I'm mirroring you. Take your hand to the floor, reach up and across, stretching your side. Come back to center as you take a deep breath in and then just switch sides, getting a nice stretch along your left side, opening up your lungs and your ribs, come back to center, and then bring your hands behind you for our first chest expansion. Interlace your fingers, press your fists down, lift your chin up off of your chest, and then as you breathe out, come forward, bringing your forehead down toward your mat, bringing your hands up toward the sky, just in that direction. and then make your way all the way back up. Release your hands and then come into a tabletop position. And of course, to open the heart and the front and the back, we're gonna take some cats and some cows. So spread your fingers wide and stack your hips over your knees and on your breath in, drop your belly, lift the crown of your head and your tailbone for cat, for cow pose and then round for cow cat pose. I said it backwards. Inhale, cow, and exhale round to cat. And then last time, one of each. So inhale, cow, exhale, cat. And then come back into a neutral tabletop position. What you're gonna do here is stay on your left hand, kick your left foot to the left and come into a modified side plank. So you're going to extend your right leg straight out behind you and lift your right arm straight up to the ceiling or the sky, stretch here. And then option to bring your arm all the way forward so it's alongside your body, bicep by your ear. And then maybe you're gonna lift your right leg up off the floor. And then for the heart opener, you can take hold of your right foot and kick it back behind you. You get a quad stretch, maybe look up, open your chest. And then release if you're holding that position and just return to tabletop position and we're gonna take those positions on the other side. So keep your right hand firmly planted on the floor and then just kind of kick your right foot off to the right, come into modified side plank on your right side. So extend your left leg long, reach your left arm up, maybe look up, hold here, modified side plank. And then reach your left arm forward toward the front of your mat so you're getting a nice long side body stretch and then option here to lift your left foot up off the floor. And then last option is to bend that left leg, take hold of your left foot with your left hand, kick your foot back, open your chest. You're obviously opening your quad, the front of your left leg, maybe looking up, great sh shoulder stretch and heart opener. Okay, gently release, extend everything, and then come back to a tabletop position. And then let's make our way to our first downward facing dog of the day. So tuck all 10 toes under, lift your hips high, release your heels down. And just check that your feet are at hip distance apart, your hands are at shoulder distance apart, middle fingers pointing toward the front of your mat, fingers spread nice and wide. And then just take a couple of pedals of your legs here. So bending and straightening one leg at a time and getting a nice stretch in the backs of your legs, strengthen your shoulders 
and then just release your head so you have no tension in your neck. And let's just take one more breath here. Now just bring your left foot a little bit closer toward center. Lift your right leg high for three-legged dog and then open your hip and bend your leg, but try to keep your shoulders level. So you should feel a nice stretch in the inner left thigh. Straighten out your leg, level your hips now your heel a little bit higher and then place it back into downward facing dog. Now bring your right foot a little bit more toward center. Lift your left leg straight up to three-legged dog. So your toes are pointed down, your hips are level right now. Now begin to open up your hip, lift your leg a little bit higher and then bend your leg. Try to keep your shoulders level. All right, now level your hips, straighten your leg, flex your toes down toward the floor, lift your heel a little bit higher, and then place it back down for downward facing dog. So you're gonna separate your feet to hip distance apart. And then on your next breath in, lift your right leg high, keep your hips level, and then step it forward into a low lunge position and place your left knee down on the floor. Lift both arms up toward the sky for crescent moon. And let's take our, uh, a nice heart opener in this position. So go ahead and cactus your arms here. Draw your elbows down, open your heart, lift your chin, feel the stretch in the front of your left leg. And then lift your arms straight back up crescent moon position, place your hands on your mat, begin to straighten your right leg for half splits position. Ardha Hanumanasana. Option here to flex your toes back toward your knees. Just feel the stretch in your Achilles, your calf, your hamstring. and then come forward so that your right knee is stacked directly over your right ankle. Tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee up, and then you're gonna step your left foot to meet your right and come into ragdoll position. So both legs are bent, cross opposite hand to opposite elbow, and then just gently sway side to side, bending and straightening one leg at a time, just slowly warming up the backs of our legs. And then gradually make your way back towards center. Release your hands down towards your mat. And we're gonna slowly make our way up, up to a standing position. So I'm gonna just roll, letting your arms dangle. Your head will be the last thing to arrive when you come up to a standing position and then come into mountain pose. So spread your toes wide, really engage your quadriceps, palms face out, fingers face down, triceps are engaged. Lift through the crown of your head and relax your shoulders down away from your ears. On your next breath in, you're gonna sweep your arms up overhead, connect the palms of your hands above your head, and then as you exhale, bring your hands through heart center and make a big sweeping circle. So inhale, sweep them all the way up and over your head, exhale through heart center. And then one more time, inhale, pause in tall mountain, and then exhale, cactus your arms and hold. So just drawing your shoulder blades toward one another, your elbows down towards your mat, your chin up off your chest. Look up and just feel your lungs opening, your heart opening, your arms strengthening all at the same time. 
breathe in, bring both arms up overhead. Now keep your hips pointed straight toward the front of your mat and you're gonna bring your left arm forward and your right arm back for a twist. Hips are pointing forward though, so you're using your core to initiate this movement. Inhale, come back to center. Keep your hips pointed forward. Bring your right arm forward and your left arm back. Twisting, engaging through your core. Bring both arms back up. Inhale, and then exhale. Cactus your arms, we're not gonna hold it this time. It's just a breath out. And then breathe in, tall mountain pose, and exhale. Uttanasana, standing forward fold. So this time, come all the way down, working in the direction of straighter legs. So we're reaching the crown of our head down toward our mat. You can hold on to a block, touch your feet, touch the floor, or hold on to the backs of your legs, wherever you're at. Just feel a deep stretch in your hamstrings, but no pain, no pain. Inhale, halfway lift, monkey pose. Flat back here, extend the crown of your head forward and exhale, standing forward fold. Step back to a high plank position. And then as you exhale, just lower all the way down onto your belly. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor. Keep your hands right underneath your shoulders, elbows draw in and back and inhale, cobra pose. So this is a nice gentle heart opener and a spine strengthener. Exhale, lower down, and we're gonna do two more with our breath. So inhale, just peel your chest up off the floor. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, one more time. And exhale. Okay, tuck your toes back under, lift your knees up off the floor, press up into high plank, or you can go through tabletop, and then back to downward facing dog. All right, so let's do that on the other side. So this time, lift your left leg up, step it through to a low lunge position, release your back knee down to the floor. So your left knee should be stacked over your left ankle. Inhale, lift both arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, you're gonna cactus your arms. So draw your elbows down, lift your gaze if your balance feels okay. Feel the stretch in the front of your right hip, your hip flexor. Draw your shoulder blades together, opening up your chest. And then of course, the front of your right leg, building strength and balance here. Inhale, reach both arms back up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands back to the earth. And then begin to straighten through your left leg for half splits pose. Option here to lift your toes up off the floor just to increase the stretch in your Achilles tendon, your calf. It's an option though, or you can point them down. Just a little variation on the stretch but mostly you should be feeling it in your left hamstring. All right, now make your way back to a low lunge position. So left knee over left ankle, tuck your back toes under, lift your knee, step your right foot to meet your left. And this time on your inhale, come up to chair pose. So sit low, lift your arms high, Palms face each other, fingers are nice and active, shoulders are away from your ears. Take a deep breath in here, and as you exhale, you're gonna bring your left arm forward, right arm back, and twist, but keep your hips pointing forward. So just a variation on what we just did. Breathe in, come back to chair. Breathe out, twist, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, come back to chair, and then exhale, standing forward fold, hinging from your hips, coming all the way down. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, standing forward fold. 
plant your hands, step, walk, or hop back to plank, and then lower chaturanga. Option modification is knees to the floor. Come halfway down or all the way down. Take low cobra or upward facing dog. Ooh, a lot of wind. And then back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. And out. Okay, so welcoming the sun and fresh air and a new beginning. During this time of year, we have to do some sun salutations. So just a salute to the sun. We're gonna do five rounds, modify as needed. So look forward toward the front of your mat. Step, walk, or jump forward. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up, tall mountain. And because we're doing heart opening, exhale, cactus your arms. We'll do this with each sun salutation. Inhale, tall mountain. And then exhale, standing forward fold, hinging from your hips, come all the way down. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. High plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra, your choice. Downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Round two, come to the front of your mat, standing forward fold. Tall mountain, open your chest, exhale. Tall mountain, standing forward fold. Halfway lift forward fold or you can jump, step, float back through chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog and exhale back to downward facing dog. Take a breath in and out. Round three, come to the front of your mat. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, rise up tall mountain. Exhale, open your chest. Tall mountain as you breathe in. Exhale, standing forward fold as you breathe out. Halfway lift, flat back. Forward fold. High plank, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog, inhale and downward facing dog, exhale. Breathe in and out. Round four, come forward and forward fold as you breathe out. Tall mountain, rise up. Cactus, breathe out. Tall mountain, rise up. Forward fold, breathe out. Monkey, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. High plank, inhale. Breathe out, come down. Breathe in, open your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Last round of sun salutations. On your next breath in, come to the front of your mat. Forward fold, breathe out. Rise up, tall mountain. Exhale, cactus your arms, open your chest, lift your chin. Tall mountain as you inhale, standing forward fold as you breathe out. Extend your spine as you breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. High plank, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Take three deep breaths here, in and out.
Let's make this last one an ujjayi breath. Out through your nose. All right, from here, we're gonna take a sequence of standing postures with some heart opening options. So on your next breath in, lift your right leg up. Step it forward for low lunge. Now place your left heel down on the floor. Bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot or a block, your choice, and begin to straighten your right leg and come into triangle pose. So you're gonna lift your left arm up, Again, working your right leg in the direction of straight. And then we're going to, this is an option, variation, take a half bind here. So you're gonna bring your left hand and reach it towards your right hip. Roll your right shoulder open and then maybe look up. So it might challenge your balance a little bit. If you do feel off balance, just look down at the floor. That'll help. All right, so release your bind, lift your left arm back up, and then place your hands down on the floor on either side of your foot, but keep your back leg where it is. And with your right leg still straight, come all the way up. And then we're gonna take pyramid pose with a bind behind our waist. So you're gonna take opposite hand toward opposite elbow, just reaching in that direction. It might be opposite wrist, whatever you can reach. And this time you're gonna hinge forward straight from your hips as far as is comfortable without overstraining your right leg. And bringing your forehead down toward your shin. And just one more breath here. All right, now release both hands back to your floor, to your mat. Take your left heel up off the floor and return to a low lunge position. So your left heel is lifted, your right knee is bent. Lift up, come into crescent lunge. And exhale, you're gonna dip your knee down and cactus your arms so you can open your chest, get an extra stretch and strengthening for your left quad and left hip flexor. And then inhale, Come back to crescent lunge, exhale, make your way to warrior two. Just bring your arms parallel to the earth and your gaze out across your front fingertips. And on your next breath in, you're going to straighten your right leg, bring your right arm up, and then take your left hand and encircle your right wrist. And then just take a side stretch here. So you can use your grip around your right wrist to just deepen the stretch, but keep your core engaged. All right, and we'll just take this kind of tricky move a little slow. What you're gonna do now is take your hands into prayer position, rotate to the back of your mat, and come into twisted lunge. So you're gonna lift your right heel up off the floor, bring your right elbow to the outside of your right knee, and hold your hands in prayer position at heart center. Okay, and here's a variation for this posture. So you can extend your arms, bring your right fingertips to the floor and your left fingertips up toward the ceiling, or you can keep your hands in prayer position. All right, if your arms are open, bring them back to prayer. Look down at your left foot, bring your right foot to meet your left, so you're in twisted chair. And then inhale, tall mountain pose. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, tall mountain pose. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna meet in downward facing dog. So if you wanna take a chaturanga here, you're gonna step back high plank, lower down. Upward dog or cobra, and back to downward facing dog. All right, so we're going to take those same postures looking at the other side of our mat on our left side.
side now. All right, so you're gonna lift your left leg up. Step your left leg forward for low lunge, and we're preparing for triangle pose, trikonasana. So release your left, your right heel down toward your mat. Begin to straighten through your left leg. Bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot and then open up to the side, reaching your right arm up toward the ceiling or the sky. So option here is to have your hand on a block or your shin, wherever is comfortable that you can hold this posture and keep your chest open. All right, and so the variation here is to take that half bind so bringing your right hand toward your left hip, opening your shoulder, maybe looking up, challenging your balance a little bit. So if you're bound, unbind, exhale, bring both hands down to your mat. So on either side of your foot, so you're looking down at your left foot with your left leg straight. Bring both arms up overhead when we're preparing for pyramid pose with the option of the bind behind our back. So reaching opposite hand toward opposite elbow, lifting your chest, hinging forward from your hips, bringing your forehead toward your shin. And of course, if the bind doesn't work for you, put your hands on the floor or a block or wherever works for you, for you right now for your left hamstring. So no overstretching it. One more breath. If your hands, arms are bound, place them back on the floor, lift your right heel up off the floor and come back into low lunge. So you need, may need to adjust your stance. On your next breath in, rise up for crescent lunge. <clears throat> All right, and then you can cactus your arms, take the knee dip, it's optional. Maybe lift your chin, draw your shoulder blades together, draw your elbows down, opening up your chest, opening up your heart. Rise back up to crescent lunge, so straightening your leg, straightening your arms, and then exhale, warrior two. <clears throat> Hold here for a breath, just bringing your arms parallel to the floor, gazing out across your left fingertips. And then on your next breath in, you're gonna straighten your left leg, and it's kind of like a reverse triangle, but you're gonna bind your left wrist with your right hand. So. Go ahead and take that bind and stretch back, opening your left side, your left lung, your left ribs. And then here's that kind of tricky transition again. You're gonna take your hands to prayer position, rotate toward the front of your mat all the way into twisted lunge, hands at heart center. And then you have the option here to open your arms Bring your left hand toward the floor, your right hand toward the ceiling. If your arms are open, bring them back to prayer position at heart center. And then look down at your right foot. Step your left foot to meet your right so you're in twisted chair. And then inhale, rise all the way up to tall mountain. And of course, with cactus your arms, open your chest. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Step or walk back, lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take your right leg high on your breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus dip. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, modified reverse triangle. Exhale, twisted lunge at the back of your mat. So make that big circle loop around. Inhale, step your right foot to meet your left. Exhale here in twisted chair. Inhale, this time come to chair. Exhale, airplane chair, maybe with your heels lifted. 
Inhale, standing staff. Exhale, twist. Left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, staff. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right to the other side, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus dip. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle bound. And exhale, twisted lunge all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, step your left foot to meet your right. Exhale, sink low into your twisted chair. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, balance chair. Inhale, standing staff, lift your left leg up. Exhale, twist. Bring your right arm forward and your left arm back. Inhale, staff. And exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're going to add one more posture into this sequence, and then we'll take some seated postures. So on your next breath in, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, crescent. Cactus dip. Crescent lunge. Warrior two. Bound reverse triangle. And then twisted lunge to the back of your mat. Step your right foot to meet your left. Sink low as you breathe out. Inhale, lift your right leg up for standing staff. And then exhale, eagle pose. Right arm underneath left, right leg over left. This is a great heart opener for the back side of your body. Hold here. Always put your foot down on the floor for extra balance. Inhale, unwind, tall mountain. Exhale, standing forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And out. Lift your left leg up. Step forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus dip. Crescent lunge to warrior two. Bound reverse triangle and twisted lunge to the front of your mat. Step your left foot to meet your right. Sink low into your twisted chair. Inhale, staff pose. Left leg lifts. Exhale, left arm underneath right. Left leg over right for eagle pose. Feeling that nice stretch in your upper back, your heart center on the back side of your body. Compressing lots of joints here. When we release increased blood flow, healing comes with it. Inhale, tall mountain, rise up. Releasing from Eagle Pose. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. So step, walk, float back, lower down. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Breathe in. 
and out. Look toward the front of your mat, step walk or float forward to standing forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, tall mountain. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Go ahead and take the weight to your right foot and let's come into tree. So you can bring your left foot to your ankle, calf or inner thigh. And in the spirit of opening our heart, you can take reverse prayer or you can take opposite hand to opposite elbow or you can cactus your arms and just hold here. Last breath in. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, hands to your heart and come into tree, putting your weight onto your left foot. So right foot comes to your ankle, calf or inner thigh. And then again, you can choose whatever hand very arm variation, opening your heart on the other side. Last breath in. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, standing forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, just step back to high plank pose. Hold high plank for five, four, three, Two, one, lower all the way down into the floor. And then on your next breath in, bring your forearms to the floor. Spread your fingers nice and wide and make sure that your shoulders are directly over your elbows. And then just start to press your chest forward, lift through the crown of your head. And bring your chin to your right shoulder. Bring your chin to your left shoulder. Come back to center and bring your chin to your chest. And then if it feels okay, you can kind of sink your shoulders down and then gently sway your head side to side. And then come back up to a proper sphinx pose. So lifting the crown of your head up and then release, bringing your hands to underneath your shoulders and your forehead down towards your mat. On your next breath in, come up to cobra pose. And this time maybe challenge yourself and bring your hands up off the floor and maybe bring your feet up off the floor. Hold here for three, two, one. Release down. Now bring your feet to mat distance apart. Bring your arms straight out to both sides with your palms face down. Lift your hands up off the floor to about the height of your head and then lift your feet up off the floor. Opening your heart, but also strengthening the back side of your body here. Hold for three, two, one. Lower down. Now bend both legs and we're gonna take floor bow. So take hold of both feet with both hands. And then on your next breath in, kick your feet into your hands. Lift the crown of your head up.
and release. All right, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders and then press all the way up to a kneeling position. We're gonna make our way to camel pose, Ustrasana. So bring your hands to your low back, fingers pointing down. Start to press your hips slightly forward, lift your chest, lift your chin. Draw your elbows back. And then if it's optional, or if it's available, I mean, bring your hands toward your heels and bring your chin up toward the ceiling. A little more shallow breathing into your lungs, but hold here for three, two, and one. Come all the way back up. And then just bring your hips back toward your heels. Rest your hands on your knees and hold. And just feel the beating of your heart. All right, and let's counter pose, camel pose with rabbit pose. So again, it's going to be opening up the heart center, but on the back side of your body. So you can just peek at the screen if you're not familiar with this pose, but follow along as I explain it. So you're gonna take your hands toward your heels, you're gonna bring your chin to your chest, and you're gonna start to round your shoulders forward. And you're gonna bring the top of your head close to maybe a block or the floor. Take a nice firm grip on your heels and then start to lift your hips up. Stretching your shoulders and again, opening your heart center and the back side of your body. And one more breath here. And bringing your hips Back toward your heels, slowly rolling your way all the way back to kneeling. And from here, go ahead and just cr um, cross over your ankles and bring the soles of your feet together for a butterfly position. And bring your hands around your ankles, bring your elbows towards your knees and start to hinge forward from your hips. One more breath here. All right, extend your left leg out to the left. Bring your right foot to your left inner thigh and you're gonna bring your left hand to your right knee and then just reach up and over toward your toes for a side bend. And one more breath here. And release from your side bend. We're gonna take half lotus, half possibly bound twist, okay? So you're gonna take your left leg, bring it to your right inner thigh. If that's not accessible to you, just place it on the floor. Bring both arms up overhead. You're gonna bring your right hand, I'm mirroring you, so we're going in the same direction, to your left knee. And then if you'd like to try the bind, you can reach your left hand around for your hip or maybe your toes. Hold here, stay nice and tall, just opening up your chest, twisting your spine. For one more breath. and release, reach both arms up overhead, release from half lotus and we're gonna switch sides. So now you're gonna extend, actually let's take a seated forward fold first and we'll do one on the neck um, after the other side too. So all 10 toes pointing up, reach your arms up and then forward fold. So I'm just releasing that side.
All right, now let's take those postures on the other side. So you're gonna extend your right leg off to the right. Bring your left foot into your right inner thigh. And you're just gonna twist toward your left knee, place your right hand on your left knee, and then reach up and over toward your toes. Lots of wind. <laughs> All right, release from that side stretch and let's take half bound, half lotus twist or fully bound. So you're gonna bring your right foot to your left inner thigh. If that doesn't work for you, just place it on your mat. Reach both arms up overhead. You're gonna bring your left hand toward your right knee. And then you can reach your right hand around for your, or yeah, your right hand toward your right toes. <laughs> Just stay upright, and if you're not fully bound, that's fine. You can always set your hand on the floor or reach it toward your hip. All right, reach both arms up overhead and release, extend both legs forward. We won't hold it as long this time, but let's take a seated forward fold. Reach your arms up and hinge forward for Paschimottanasana. Seated forward fold. Just one more breath here. All right, release from your forward fold and we're gonna take reverse plank, which is a great heart opener and arm strengthener and chest opener. So you're gonna take your hands right behind your hips, but your fingers are going to be pointed toward the front of your mat. Spread your fingers wide. Now point your toes down toward your mat and then lift your hips up. Lift your chin away from your chest. You don't need to drop it back. You wanna keep a nice long spine here. Strengthening and opening at the same time. Lift a little bit higher. Now you can bring your hips back down toward the floor. And from this position, you're simply gonna come onto your forearms, okay? So we're moving into fish pose. So keep your shoulders over your elbows, fingers still pointing the same way. And you're gonna begin to gently drop your head back, open your throat, open your chest for fish pose. If you have it in your practice, you can take the option of lifting your feet up off of the floor, off of your mat, or you can just keep them resting on your mat. You can always take supported fish as well. If you have like a block or a bolster to rest on, just can't do a heart opening class without doing fish posture. So this is a great heart opener, chest opener, lung opener, throat opener. So go ahead and begin to just lift your head up and you're gonna be releasing from fish onto your back. So nice and slow, just begin to straighten your arms and lay down onto your back. All right, we're gonna take some more heart openers. So bend both legs, bring them in towards your hips, arms alongside your body, and begin to press into your heels and lift your hips up off the floor for bridge pose. One more breath here. Okay, and release. Hips back down toward the floor. Just let your knees touch. One breath here.
All right, separate your knees, bring them back to hip distance apart. We're gonna come back into bridge with chest expansion. So lift your hips up, option to take your hands underneath your hips, interlace your fingers, and then roll onto the outer edges of your shoulders. Lift your hips a little bit higher. It just opens your chest a little bit more. Building strength, flexibility. And opening the whole front side of your body. And just one more breath here. And release. And then just let your knees rest toward one another. And then separate your knees again so they're hip distance apart. And last posture, we're gonna take wheel. I'm not gonna practice wheel with you today, but I'm gonna guide you through it. So you're gonna take your hands, flip them so they're by your ears, elbows stay in, and then you're just gonna press your hips up and then come all the way up onto, gently onto the crown of your head, and then straighten your arms. If you are not practicing wheel, like I am not today, you can come back into one more bridge with or without chest expansion and hold here. Last breath in and release from either wheel or bridge and just let your knees touch. Separate your knees to hip distance apart. Cross your right ankle over your left knee for reclined pigeon pose. So nice deep hip stretch here. Lift your left foot up off the floor and you can hold on to your thigh or your shin. Flex all 10 toes back toward both knees. And release your left foot back to the floor and twist. So bring your right foot to the left. Bring your arms out to a capital T shape. If you want to take another variation on twists, you can stack or stagger your knees or whatever feels good. Just try to keep both shoulders on the floor. and release from your twist and let's switch sides. So bring your left ankle over your right knee, lift your right foot up off the floor, hold on to your thigh or your shin, flex all 10 toes back toward both knees. and release your right foot down toward the floor and twist. So bring your left foot to the right, arms to capital T. Choose any twists that you would like, but just keep your shoulders flat to the floor. Come back to center, uncross your ankle, place both feet on the floor with your knees bent and hug both knees into your chest. Taking opposite hand toward opposite wrist or opposite elbow. Holding here. And then just bring your forehead up towards your knees, tuck into a tight little ball, squeeze, 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 squeeze as tight as you can in preparation for the full release of Shavasana. So go ahead and release into Shavasana, extending your legs long, feet falling open, arms resting alongside your body, palms facing up. Take a deep breath in. 
Exhale through your mouth. And then just return to the natural rhythm of your breath. And just take a body scan, working your way from your toes all the way to the crown of your head. Just relaxing each body part as you move up the length of your body. Trying to let go of any tension that you might be holding on to. If you notice your, finch, your fist clenched or your jaw clenched or your forehead furrowed. Just notice those things and see if you can consciously release and relax those places of tension that we so often hold in our body. And just visualize in your mind's eye an open, glowing heart center. Spent a lot of time here on your mat opening up this space in your body. So now if you can maybe just visualize light shining from your heart center, radiating out So it's in you, for you, and it's there to spread amongst everybody else that you come in contact with today. like to invite you to enjoy your Shavasana for as long as you have time for. If you'd like to end with me seated, just go ahead and slowly make your way up to a seated position. Just bringing slow movements back into your body. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, taking time out of your day on your mat to take care of your body, to open your heart, just open up, salute the sun. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts and peace in your words and peace in your heart. From my heart to each and every one of yours, namaste.